probably heard, there are a number of things you can do to improve your car's fuel efficiency. From checking the tire pressure to flushing out the fuel injector. So this morning, our Monday morning mechanic, David Rogers from Keller Brothers, looks to be playing with fire. What were you doing there? Is that a hairspray thing and a lighter? What were well, you doing? First of all, we, we, we want to advise anyone at home, don't do this at home, okay? And, okay. and for, especially if you're not an adult. If you're a kid and you're watching this, I'm not kidding. You could catch yourself on fire and hurt yourself badly. Um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just demonstrating the way a fuel injector actually works. A fuel injector sits up on top of your engine and it looks and it looks like these little buggers right here. And this is called a fuel rail. The gasoline travels through there. And then this injector here is kind of plugged in, has an electrical plug in, and then it sprays the fuel. As you can see in this picture, it's going to spray that fuel down into the motor so that it can ignite. The trick to a fuel injector working well is how good the spray is. Notice how wide that is and it's finely atomized. And if you look here, you can see a dirty injector, how it doesn't spray wide, it sprays narrow, and then it's going to be, you know, I, the technical term for that kind of a spray, I think, is gloppy. I think that's what you call it. But uh, here's, the, uh, here's the, what I was doing, and I was showing, when it goes fine mist like that, it all burns. Notice how all of it burns, you don't see any mist falling down behind it, okay? And notice my finger catching on fire, that's not good at home, right there. Um, now here's a glopped up one, okay? One that's kind of gunked up and dirty, simulating a carbon fuel injector, one that's got uh, sediment on it. And you can see what happens here is it doesn't ignite very well. And it's, it's actually getting onto my hands. And you can see where the fuel, in this case, hairspray, but you can see how that's just basically not flaming very well. A lot of it's getting onto my hand here and it's making it wet. And what that means is that that fuel is not burning in the gas tank, okay? And with fuel samples, when they should look like this, and so many more of them are looking like this, you know, we have to start thinking about what happens inside that little injector. It works just like a hairspray bottle. The fuel sprays right out of that little bugger like I showed you in the picture. So if it's coming out in glops or in blobs and kind of gunky, what's going to happen is it's going to come down the sides and it's going to make a mess and it's not going to ignite well. How we cure that, um, you need to see an ASE certified master tech. Don't go to one of these quickie, fasty oil change places and have them dump something in the tank. It's not going to do the job that we can do in a shop. What we're going to do in a shop is we're going to use a solvent under pressure. We use a special canister that we attach to the fuel rail itself. And what happens is under pressure, we're going to inject a solvent that runs down through these and washes them out and cleans out every one of these injectors. Therefore, taking that spray from a mess and, and a gloppy, gunky mess that's just kind of running down and making a mess and pooling up and not burning and turning it in to that nice, efficient mist that burns so well. And that's where you get the better gas mileage. So, hey. Gas prices have been fluctuating a little bit. They keep saying they're going to stay down and they're going to go, you know, uh, they're going to go down or, or they're not going to go much under three dollars. I'm here to tell you, it's a lot of money and it adds up. Change your fuel filter, clean out your injectors every other year, change your fuel filter every year, and you will save a ton of money. All makes a difference, David. Thanks. Good, Good demonstration. You think he needs band-aids this morning? Are you all right out there? <laughs> yeah, maybe a little first aid cream. Medic. That's what he's doing. Thanks, David. Thanks, Appreciate it.